Now, once I click on mouse control, it's going to actually start doing the work for me, which is absolutely fantastic. It's going to look for posts which are related and it's going to comment. As you can see right at the top of my screen, it's literally writing a comment and it's also going to click the submit button. And the reason why it clicks this tiny little submit button over here, have a look, see the mouse is on the left, it's about to click. The reason why it actually works, whereas Atlas and OpenAI don't always click that button because it's too freaking small. But the reason why this one does work is because of the system prompt functionality, which we have added to it. So now it just submitted that, that just now. Now let me click the cancel button here to stop it from working. And let me go back in and show you this system prompt thing. So when you click on here on the star button at the top of the page, what happens is it takes you to create custom rules for website. Now this is not available with Atlas and Comet. You just don't have this functionality. So the way it works, let me just show you. Here's an example of a system prompt that will always work on any website that has this inside it, facebook.com. Here's the system prompt. When you want to post a comment on Facebook, after you enter the comment, you must click the little triangle send button to post the comment. Now, without this information, I was trying to get at, uh, Abracadabra to post a comment for me and it wasn't able to. It simply wasn't able to post a comment on uh, Facebook without this little system prompt here that I've added. And therefore, the functionality of this Chrome extension outdoes Atlas and OpenAI because of this special functionality, which is called custom rules for websites.